First responders are applauding what could be a big change in how they handle their mental health. Currently, police, fire, and other emergency service workers suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, have to use their own money, even their own vacation time, to get help. But this afternoon, Representative Matt Erpelding of Boise announced a potential law that may remedy that. KTVB's Gretchen Parsons is live now with details. Hi, Kim. As it stands now, first responders must sustain a physical injury along with a psychological one like post-traumatic stress in order to have treatment covered by uh, workman's comp. Erpelding's plan would take that physical injury component off the table to ensure that all workers are covered for any, any mental injury sustained on the job. A police officer involved in a shooting must throw out his back or her back in order to get treatment for depression or a firefighter who pulls a body from a burning building must also sprain their ankle in order to get treatment for PTSD. Boise Fire Chief Dennis Doan says Idaho's current law has left some first responders suffering in silence. And he says across the U.S., the effects of PTSD on emergency crews has come with deadly consequences. Suicides left more officers and firefighters dead last year than all the line of duty deaths combined. And all of us here have had friends over the last couple years that have committed suicide from the stresses that they face in their jobs. The first responders we spoke to today says it's because of the nature of the job. Cutting people out of cars, responding to children being stabbed, pulling a child out of a car that is submerged underwater, doing CPR on an infant. The thousands of calls we go on each year take a toll and what can come after the response to a call is not just part of the job. That is why we will bring bipartisan legislation in 2019 to change Idaho's workmen's compensation laws to cover our first responders for psychological injuries, regardless of whether there are physical injuries also. Representative Erpelding, a Democrat in Idaho's House of Representatives, says he's garnered support from his Republican colleagues, but he anticipates some pushback. You have a lot of people who would be ultra fiscal hawks who don't see past the bottom line. Chief Doan also says money was a major hurdle when he tried to get similar legislation passed in the 1990s. But both Doan and Erpelding say the stigma around mental health has changed and are optimistic the proposal will become law. Idaho expects so much from our first responders, which means Idaho must have their backs in return. I reached out to Idaho's House Majority Leader, Republican Representative Mike Moyle, to see if this legislation is something he would be on board with. He says he hasn't had a chance to look at the draft yet, so he can't say for now we're going to have to wait until uh, 2019 when lawmakers go back into session. And many other states have passed similar legislation to this, including Washington State, and their law just went into effect this past July.